Hey guys, today we're checking out the 2019 Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest. So the Oktoberfest, this is a seasonal brew uh, by Sierra Nevada that comes out every year since I can really remember. Um, it's kind of a staple of the season. Brewed in collaboration with um, Bitburger this year. And on the website, they claim that Bitburger's in-house yeast and hop blend called Siegelhopfen. How would you pronounce that? Yeah, Siegelhopfen. Siegelhopfen. Meaning sealed hops. Sealed hops. I wonder what they mean by sealed hops. Like they yeah. seal them in the beer and then you get to release it. And upon release, it smells like caramelized malt, which is most likely what they used. Nice amber color to it. Very clear. Very typical of the style. Definitely has that sort of crystal clear amber color. Not much hot presence on this, but uh, that's to be expected because it's a malt forward beer. So let's check out this Siegelhofen and see how we get on with this. All right, cheers. Cheers. Not much in the way of carbonation on this. No. That's... I mean, it's, it's definitely there, but uh, you don't taste it. It's not up front. It's almost... Um... That caramelized malt really is kind of bringing out the sweetness in this beer. It is a little high in alcohol for an Oktoberfest. It's 6%, so. Is it really? Yeah. On the bottle it says, uh, it's the ultimate season of revelry. So we teamed up with Germany's famed Bitburger Brewery for an Oktoberfest that turns backyards into beer gardens. Uh, wouldn't that be tight if we had a beer garden in the backyard? Rally your friends and celebrate with a fest beer whose rich amber color uh, secret hop blend and smooth malty flavor bring the Munich tents to you. Yeah, I mean, this is a really good example of a typical German Oktoberfest beer. Like this, it's malt forward, you know, it's rich, it's roasty. Um, there's not much in the way of hop presence in this beer. It just kind of uh, is a smooth and easy drinker uh, meant for the season. To me, this beer reminds me of how fall looks. The yeah. way it tastes, like it goes hand in hand. The colors, yeah, the flavors reminds you of November. Yeah. And October. Yeah, these these are really great beers to have at Thanksgiving dinner. This one's a little bit lighter than I feel like I thought it was gonna be. Actually, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more hoppy, but it's just pretty much all malt. I mean the bitterness is definitely there. It definitely lingers in the back and you kind of get it 10, 20 seconds afterwards. I'm not getting any of that. Can't explain it. I'm just getting pure malt. I do think this is a, one of the more interesting Oktoberfest beers that we've had before in the past. So. It's all, yeah, it's always been sure. a really good Oktoberfest choice. Um, you know, we'll try the Sam Adams Oktoberfest. There's the Shiner Oktoberfest that everybody likes to buy for some reason. There's, you know, a plethora of other Oktoberfest beers out there, but this one always seems to be an interesting choice. They're, they're always pairing up with some brewery and doing something interesting with it and changing it up every year. It's not gonna be the same beer every single time, which I really like. You can always expect something. That's what keeps me buying it every year because it's like, it's different every time. You never know what you're getting. It's like a box of chocolates. Well guys, thanks for tuning in. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or beer event coverage, be sure to click that subscribe button. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.